Hi, welcome to Reena's YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about polynomials. Polynomial is an expression consisting of variables and coefficients that involves only the operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication and non-negative integer exponents of variables. Next, polynomial in one variable. Variable is denoted by a symbol that can take any real value. We use the letters x, y, z, etc. to denote the variables. For example, 2x, 3x, minus x are algebraic expressions. All these expressions of the form of a constant and x. Here the values of the constants do not change in a given problem, but the value of a variable can keep changing. Consider the square PQRS in figure. It is x into x equal to x square units. Here x square is an algebraic expression. Expression of this form is called the polynomials in one variable. Next, see the example shown. Each term of a polynomial has a coefficient. So, in minus x, x cube plus 4x square plus 7x minus 2, the coefficient of x cube is equal to minus 1. The coefficient of x square equal to 4. The coefficient of x is equal to 7. And minus 2 is the coefficient of x power 0. Minus 2 is the example of constant polynomial. The constant polynomial 0 is called the 0 polynomial. Now consider the algebraic expressions such as x plus 1 by x and root x plus 3. We can write x plus 1 by x equal to x plus x to the power minus 1. Here the exponent of the second term x to the power minus 1 is minus 1 which is not a whole number. So this algebraic expression is not a polynomial. Consider another example root x plus 3 which can be written as x to the power 1 by 2 plus 3. Here the exponent of x is 1 by 2 which is also not a whole number. So root x plus 3 is not a polynomial. Zeros of polynomial. Consider the polynomial p of x equal to 5x cubed minus 2x square plus 3x minus 2. If we replace x by 1, then we get p of 1 equal to 4. Therefore, the value of p of x at x equal to 1 is 4. Similarly, p of 0 equal to minus 2. Next, we will see about remainder theorem. Consider the example 2x cubed plus x square plus x. Divide this polynomial by the monomial x which is equal to 2x cubed divided by x plus x square divided by x plus x divided by x which is equal to 2x square plus x plus 1. We can say that x and 2x square plus x plus 1 are factors of 2x cubed plus x square plus x and 2x square plus x square plus x is a multiple of x as well as multiple of 2x square plus x plus 1. Consider the another pair of polynomials 3x square plus x plus 1 and x. Here 3x square plus x plus 1 divided by x equal to 3x square divided by x plus x divided by x plus 1 by x. We see that we cannot divide by x to get a polynomial term. So in this case we stop here and note that 1 is a reminder. We have 3x square plus x plus 1 equal to x into 3x plus 1 into plus 1. In this case, 3x plus 1 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. Since the remainder is not 0, it is not a factor. Next one is a factorization of polynomials. Factorization of polynomial expresses a polynomial with coefficients in a given field or in the integers as the product of irreducible factors with coefficient in the same domain. Next one is the factor theorem. Factor theorem states that a polynomial p of x has a factor x minus a if and only if p of a equal to 0. Next algebraic identities. Algebraic identities are x plus y the whole square equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square x minus y the whole square equal to x square minus 2xy plus y square. 
x square minus y square equal to x plus y into x minus y x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab.